Hey guys, welcome to part two of Skyward Sword. So we're getting right into it. We're making our way over to a column of light somewhere. We're going to go down to the surface for the first time. Oh, here we go. Here it is. And you know what? I can't lie. These freaking controls, they are so hard to get used to. It's weird to have to press the left bumper and then use my joystick, the right joystick, to move the camera. Because normally, you just use the right joystick. But that, obviously, is my sword. <laughs> and that in itself is hard to get used to. You know, it's, I would say, you know, it's a step up from the motion controls for the Wii, but I don't know. I really like it that much more, to be honest. It's gonna be tough to get used to. Um, That's right, I got a potion. I got my shield. Oh wait, I just put away my shield. No, I want it. Okay. Put it away. Let's jump off. Here we go! Alright, where did the column of light go? There it is. Here we go. Oh, we're just jumping right off. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> I almost fell to my doom. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. Now, how do I open my map? Okay, it's, uh, minus. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh! I almost missed that. Oh, I see. No, get closer. Ah! There we go. Okay. Woo. Okay. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. Maybe. Right now I do. I can't remember the specifics, but that has something to do with demise, I think. And down there, that's where that monster is sealed. Hmm. 
Nope. Already messed up. Can I go down there? Just to look? What is this? This is probably a waste of time. But I want to look anyways. Well, you know what? Why am I doing this? Listen to that music. You young one. Child of destiny. Descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Okay, okay. Okay, we did something. Oh, oh, that, oh. Okay, did I just, it's a little shortcut then, right? Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Well, I don't know what you mean, so please do. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The dir direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Okay. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Okay. Well, let's just try it out, I guess. Okay. Does it mean we want to go up here? We are pointing at a wall. Well, let's just keep going back up. I think we're supposed to go back up that way anyways. Sealed temple. OK. 
Okay, we got like more little air. Air ducks. Oh. Too bad we don't have a bug net. I... I really wish I could throw these pots. I really feel like I should be able to. Oh, is that? Uh, that's Impa, right? Ooh, a chest. Got some revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Oh, cool. old one. Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link. Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? Side note. So, I mentioned the last episode, A Link to the Past was one of the very first games I ever played. Did anyone else always think that Link's name was Zelda? Even though I think it tells you your name is Link, they call you Link. I don't know. I thought it was Zelda. I was I was very young, okay? She, oh, shoot. I missed that dialogue. She set out for Fair and Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to the Fair on Woods. You will be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have, monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will oh, excuse me, will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Okay. Point at the X and press A to place the beacon. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Go now, you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest, treasure chest <laughs> within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. I took out the treasure. Okay, different treasure chest than the one I just opened. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. I mean, I opened that treasure chest. Is that what you were talking about? Let's see. Let's go in here or out here. <gasps> it's a Goron. We got to save him. Oh, can I throw this? I guess not. Out of the way, scram! 
I really feel like I should be able to throw this. <gasps> I can! I didn't do anything. Okay, get on my side. Ah. Oh, they're not interested. <clears throat> Wait, what do we do? to these controls. Luckily, they're not really attacking me very fast. So. Ah! I failed. I failed at the block. No, let's go down. Yep, there we go. Woo! Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. I already know about that. Unless it's different than just it being a save point. Hey, hey bud, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this isle of the goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks there. A rumor to be quite useful. Oh, is it like a fast travel point? Supposedly, this statue is special as it, has set, as it is said to have the ability to activate all of the, 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 other, all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? No. Ah, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can wait. Whoa. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near, bud. How crazy is that? Okay, so I can go back up. Well, we don't need to do- we don't need to go back up yet. Gora, what was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy big. I've got to know. Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call, him anytime, call me anytime you'd like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Too bad I ain't got it. Oh, there's my beacon. Nope, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Wait, is there anything specific I'm supposed to do right here? Or just... This is the direction to go in. I'm guessing we keep going. Master, you have entered Faron Woods. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. I remember bees or something. Are bees in this area? Oh, 
Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Or maybe I just run around and explore. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like it. What is this? Oh, it sucked me. Uh, get it off, get it off, get it off. Is there any way to get it off? <laughs> oh, rupees. care of them. Always check the grass for rupees. Got here. Is that a porcupine? Quicko. Quicko. Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me. Okay. Wait, what is this? Was this there before? Oh wait, that's where the heart was. That's right. something? Oh. Ah. Got him. Ooh, can I get... Okay, how do I roll? Click? Yeah, that's how I do it. Okay. Got it. Nothing. This one's shiny. Why is this one shiny? Where did he go now? Oh, 
Oh, up there. What's that? Okay. It spotted me again. Huh? You don't want to eat me? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? I'm Machi. I'm a Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. I don't know who she was, but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. Is she a friend of yours? A pack of those mean red guys who were after her, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant, significant danger. I marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that the, this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothe hypothesis, I theorize there's an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. Or, I can just run around and explore. You really spooked me. You keep some very strange company, friend. Sounds like you're set on fighting this friend and the elder. I, if you're heading that way anyway, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Cheer up. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Okay. No, I want to move it. Ooh, I found something. What is this? You got an amber relic. These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. That almost looks like a tear from the Tears of the Kingdom. What's this way? Oh, I'm back at the start. Let's go back this way. My map again. That looks like I need a bomb for that. Ooh. Will I be able to swing my sword while I'm up here? Or did I just run past it? Can I crush it with a rock? not throw it. Oh, that was good enough. Do I need both of those down there for some reason? I'll leave it for now. in there. Ooh. Come on. There we go. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh. Is that like a 
Kill. Kill. Wait. Oh, hold on. There we go. those used to upgrade my equipment I think oh can I climb on this tree there's like leaves on it Ugh. maybe not <gasps> Rupee! all right let's push this down Guessing we're just like opening up some shortcuts here. Oh! There we go. Was there one over here? Yes. See right there? Okay. Ooh, look at that light. Oh. Over there. Bucha? I am Bucha, the Kikui Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. You, you are clearly a master woodsman. Zelda. Ah, oh, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, yeah, she was with me. But now is not the time for such talk. These woods, The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. What, you say you've met some of my people? So Machi is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters, they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe? I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui elders is an unfortunate setback, but he still may have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikuis for the elder. To expedite your search for these four stolen creatures, I have added Kikuis as a dowsing option. Cool. Do you need me, need me to explain how to, to switch dowsing targets now? I think we're good. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable dowsing, react, dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. Oh! 
That did something. So that's the way I came. I still feel like I should be able to crawl. <laughs> hmm. All right. Somewhere in this direction. Underwater, though. Okay, we got lots of ways to go. Maybe want to just go that way first. Yeah, let's maybe just go that way first. It's an interesting lock up there. Oh. Okay, there's so many ways to go. Let's let's go this way. Let's not get overwhelmed here. Okay, that was not him. Maybe he's up here. Oh, a hole. Oh, wait. Did I see him? Oh, no, that's the older way off over there. piece of a heart container. Oh. Oh no. I don't like this. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. this off since we're here. Yeah. Is that somewhere we've 
spin. Whoops. God dang it, I'm going to keep doing that. Nope. Okay, well. That's fine. I can get back up. Actually, might as well. Have I been here? Is this like the entrance, maybe? It probably is. Yeah. Whoops, no, I don't want that. Alright. Oh, do I just, do I really just walk up to it? Okay, well I need to do that back where the Elder's at. Talk to him? No. Hey, man. Hey, man. I can see you. Do I have to get rid of all of his cover? been discovered and here I thought I had a good hiding place. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in this woods that's half as good at hiding as I am, except the Elder, of course. Okay. Is that all I had to do? How did you find me? I was blending in perfectly with my environments. You found him already? I don't know how you do it, but you sure do have a knack for spotting hidden, thi hidden things. Okay. So we should... Be marked on the map. Yeah. Okay. I need a bomb. Is there anything in this direction? Maybe over there. Oh, maybe in that mushroom. Hmm. Come over here, bird. Oh, there's another one. Ah, you pooped on me. Do I need to get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. I'm down here. It's probably better, better, easier if I had a slingshot. <laughs> get him. All right, maybe that's not that's important. That mushroom is not glowing anymore. Wait. Is that one right there? I think so. Let's go over here. Oh, 
How do I do that? Yeah, that one. Oh, from the other side, there we go. How do I do the... Is that the one attack? What's... Like the leaping attack when they're down. I don't remember how to do that one. It's an exit to somewhere else, I'm guessing. Oh, we got like a save point. Let's do that. We haven't done that in a while. This area commands an excellent view of your surroundings. It would be wise to utilize this vantage point to douse for nearby kiwis. Well, we know we got one over there. Oh, is there one? Do I need to like go up this tree? Let's figure out how to get up over here. I can't do this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Did I go across that already? I don't think I got- oh! Nope, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't think I can get across there, anyways. How do I get... Oh, you know what? Okay. We're gonna go back over here by the Elder. No, well, that was a fail. Was that rope? Oh, right there. Right? Yeah. We we're gonna crawl through here. I need a bot. Oh, I don't need a bottle. This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. Yeah, I need a bottle, empty bottle, to capture that. Okay. Okay, how do I avoid? Dang it. Jocelyn? Dang it!
Alright, um... Can I avoid this thing? I don't think I can. How do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? Get rid of it! God dang it! Third time's the charm. Careful now. Careful now, SpongeBob. Oh, this guy's wearing a hat or a bandana. Oh, shit. Getting hit was not a part of the plan. Oh, we found one. Okay, yeah, we saw you already, I think. You fought off all those red guys, so does that mean that you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly and I can't get down. Think you could help me? Poor little guy. Don't worry, we'll help. Uh... <laughs> that is the right way to do it. <laughs> Ouch, that was, uh, effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm saved. Really? The Elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. My name's Lopsa. If you see the Elder, can you please tell him where I am? My legs are still shaking. Oh, can I use this to go... Or just go up. Can I change? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. You better than that, Link. Let me change. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Nope, get back up. A shortcut. How do we get up there? Oh. 
I'm a little dead end here. Oh, that's my only way. It's my only way out. Okay. Back to the rope we go. got a target. Let's go this way. Can we go underwater? Swim. Okay. Shell. Toward the water's edge to climb out. Okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Maybe some point. Do I need, like, a mask? Hmm. Maybe let's try getting back up here. Tell me to go this direction. That's the beginning. I don't want to go right there, obviously. What is that? That yellow thing. I don't know how to get up on there. Hmm. So I can't go anywhere from that platform. Let's just take another... Oh, did I just go backwards out of the Pharaon Woods? I did. I don't want to do that. Let's just go up this way. Okay, yeah, I'm back right here. Oh, let's just run. Run, run, run. Oh, they all respawn. Great. How do I go underwater is the question. Let me talk to this guy. So Machi, Lapsa, and Erla are safe, are they? Good news. Oh, but one last Kikui still accounted for. Could I ask you to search the area for him? He has quite a talent for disguising himself as a bit of shrubbery. So look for him amongst any big round bushes you may encounter. On a separate note, I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something about that girl you're after and where she went. I just need a little more time. All right.
Hmm. What's in this? Is this where we found the little guy the first time? shield with those guys. Ooh. Give me that heart. Give me that heart. Hmm. Well, maybe... See, how do I get up... How do I get up on that side, though? Let's go across here again. Maybe I can get to another ledge from here. I mean, probably not. No, not even close. Be hiding in like a tree, Woody. Maybe. Let's go back up here. down this hole. There he is. Ha ha ha. Don't eat me. It tastes terrible. Let me go. Now the Elder was worried about me, I'm so glad to hear he's safe. I'm Ulo. If you meet the Elder, tell him I'm here. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. I am not detecting any additional dowsing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the Kikui Elder. Alright, I found him. What was that just now? Don't scare me like that. Alright. 
he was. Oh, there he is. So all my fellow Kikuis are well, and they want me to stop worrying? Aha, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that long young lady went. That young girl, girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She, she said she had traveled to the temple deep within these woods. Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. Okay, yeah, we want to go back there. I think she headed down that way toward the temple. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. I almost forgot. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you right now. Pardon me a moment. Are you pulling it out of man? <gasps> Slingshot! Use this projectile shooting weapon to fling deco seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. Okay, so R and ZR now. How many do I have? Oh, 19. Okay, so... With that slingshot, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. To get started, why don't you shoot that vine over there? Couldn't wait to shoot it, could you? Well, I suppose that's a good thing. It will make my explanation that much easier to understand. Hold ZR to ready your slingshot, then release ZR to let a shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. Now go find that girl, I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> now, where was that target I saw? Let's go over here. That is a target, right? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe for like the bow or something. You know what? No! I'm gonna get you with my slingshot. Nope, too late. I'm doing it too late. Nope. Fail. There we go. No, I want to put it away. B. God dang it. Wasting. Wasting my deco seeds. Okay. Let's go up here and save. Oh, there we go. You got five deco seeds. So you want to shoot that. Nope. There we go. Dad! 
All right, to the temple we go. All right. Oh, we've got uh, that one guy watching us, whatever his name is. Deep woods. Is it just stun them? Oh, you're not dead. Oh, yep, there's there's the beehive. Oh. Okay. Knock this down, maybe, before I try to go across. Oh, is there just like two different ways across? Well, let's go this way first. Oh, there's a... Uh... Shoot, what was his name? Is that the same Goron? Oh, I had to go that way. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they'll attack me. If I don't do that. I saw something up there. I think I saw a chest. Come on, I don't want to use my shield. There we go. Don't go off the edge. Okay. Oh, wait, I haven't been that way. That's a different way. Okay, can I shoot these off? Because for some reason, whoops. Yeah. For some reason I can't frickin' shake them off when they get stuck on me. Was it a better idea to, uh, I don't know how long the stun will last though. Nope. Probably not long enough, but we'll try. Oh god, he can do that? Okay, uh... Keep coming this way, please. <gasps> can I knock him off? Hold on. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, sh shoot. Oh, we got a little uh, relic here. Here. Oh, 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 I'm using the wrong joystick try and swing here. Shoot, how many, how many times do I have to kill this one? Come on. Talk to our friend here. Oh, hey. Gorko. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Yeah? Oh. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here. I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks just like something I've seen in those ancient texts. Mm -hmm. If I remember right, yep, this is one of those things that the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. Uh, I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Summoned forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. I see you got yourself a sword right there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Let's try it. Oh. Hey, thanks a billion, bud. This cube is made of some sort of metal I have never seen. I've wailed on it, but nothing happens. Mm. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg mm. is that one line, you know, the light from a heavenly blade. Yeah, you're probably right. No! Oh. Fine, I guess we have to do that first. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. And where do you think the cube shot off to anyway? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. So does that show up, does that show up in the sealed grounds or does that show up in Skyloft? The texts say there are cubes like that all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find more, out more about them along the way, you come see me. Okay. since they're going like straight up I'm guessing they appear somewhere in Skyloft
Well, there's the temple, but I kind of want to run around. <gasps> See if there's anything over here. Oh! Looks like this is it. Did I? No, I didn't, but I don't need him anyways. Okay. So, oh, but you know what? Now, now I should be able to ring the bell for Beetle, right? The door is sealed shut. Uh... I didn't seem to do anything. Oh. There we go. Skyview Temple. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Spiderweb here. Oh wait, there's... I think I remember spiders in here. bit better at the combat. The little... some enemies still throw me off though. Ah, that was a mistake. Oh, you know what? Let's be smart about this. This is I when I bring out my slingshot. Hmm. What's this? He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Are you talking about V? Whoops. 
Master Link, it is likely that I am the servant this tablet is referring to. To help you with your mission, the goddess gave me a massive quantity of knowledge about this land. Should you find yourself in need of answers, I hope you won't hesitate to call on me by pressing down. If you target an object with ZL, O, and press down, I will tell you all of the information I know about it. Okay. <gasps> Look, a tear thingy. Can I shoot that down? Whoops. No. This magical sentry has a natural tendency to stare at the tip of pointed objects. Okay. Does he need to... certain direction his eyes as soon as I fire something at him. Do I need... Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Hold on. I seem like Make it dizzy or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, why did you go? Why'd you point that way? not a save point. What is this? Oh, it is. Oh, yep. I remember you. You have stairs that lead to nowhere. I just jumped off a ledge to my death. What is this? Just a plant. Oh, 
There's something up here. A door I cannot get through. Is that the beginning? I think that was the beginning. So like the first hallway we came in. Okay, so I've got a bunch of ways to go. hate these things. Okay. Remember they've got like a target on them. Ugh. Now I have to like turn them around or something. I detect targetable objects in your immediate vicinity. If you press down while targeting a person... Yeah, that's what I was... I thought that's what I was doing. Skull Tula. The, this giant species of spider inhabits the deepest area of forest. It attacks with highly adhesive webbing in order to prevent its prey from escaping. It has a tough outer carapace but its stomach may be vulnerable to attack. Yeah, I'm currently conducting additional analysis into its movements patterns. You have defeated zero of this enemy type, and I am, I am unable to analyze your battle performance rating with this opponent due to insufficient data. Okay, that didn't help. How do we turn it? Ah, oh, there we go. Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gem gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. Jumps down here. Is this the one that's below? Mm. Oh no, okay. I must have to go underwater to get out of here. go down. Oh wait, no. Here we go. I can't. At least I don't think I can. Wait, what was that? Is this maybe like a bomb here or something? Should be able to just swim across right here, right? Or is this no, it's too high. Do I need to go back and try to go to a different room? Let me read this thing again. 
Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. Okay, well, I can't. It doesn't seem like, like I can climb out that way. Okay, let's go back. We'll go straight across from here. Or no. Maybe not. This is locked. Oh, what do you want, V? I have information concerning the mechanisms that open the doors. Given their function, logic dictates that the me mechanisms are positioned near the doors that they open. There is an 80% probability you will locate these mechanisms if you thoroughly explore and look around in every direction. Okay. I found there was that one. Is it possible to get up there? No. I don't think so. Whoops. Let's just have a little swim around. We get off, please. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I need to go back up there. Nope, sorry. Wait, is B? No, I don't go down with B. This rupee is bothering me. Oh, and I don't think I can even get it. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, there's a chest up there. Hmm. Seen something back in that in this room? Because the water's not high enough for me to reach. Let's go back in here. That's where I came out of.
What am I missing? Unless, can I get those eyeballs to open from over here? No. No, I just can't get up here. I just can't get up right here. Here we go. All right. I've been wandering around probably for about five minutes. I finally freaking found it. There we go. I need to go around. Oops. I need to stop putting that away. I forgot how to use my shield for a sec. Okay, now I should be able to kill these guys, right? Here to the spider web. What do you say? 
In a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find a temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike another gemstone and reveal a path. Okay. So, back in maybe this main room then? Is it, oh, is this the, this must be the map. Yeah. It also reveals locations of treasure chests, so be sure to take a look. Okay. Master, I have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing the, uh, minus the position of doors and their locks. As well as the position and status of treasure chests can be confirmed on the map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. Okay. So I'm supposed to find... an X for another... Uh another gem to hit. Something like that. Well, I want to be able to go across there, which I should be able to do, whoops, by going back into this room. And swimming across. Why is this back? Oh wait. Maybe I can't. Oh, I need to I still need to I need to come at it from this this angle here. I'm almost out of these. Ah, oh, hey. Let me up. Let me up here. some Deku seeds. as a treasure test. Okay. Wait, why is only... One eye following? Oh. There we go. Okay. So now we can go this way. Through that door.
Okay, well, we got a gemstone right there. Oh, wait. I only have one freaking seed left. Oh, there we go. We've got a lot of doors here. That knock off the rupee? Oh, come on, it should have. Okay. Um. So, is this gonna be timed? Does it only open that door? It must only open that door. <laughs> oh. Got a dead guy. Oh, we're in for a fight. We're in for like a little boss fight, aren't we? Okay. Oh wait, oh god, I should have saved. I'm such an idiot. Nope. I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing the blocking. God damn. Run away, run away. Did I get him? Ooh, I almost died. What do we got here? Beetle! The unexplained power contained within this insect-shaped item allows you to control as it flies through the air. I remember this point, the cursor where you want it to go. And press CR to send it soaring. You have acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect like profile and wings indicate that it can fly. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. Press CR to ready the device for takeoff and press right to learn more about its operation. Okay. Well, let's use it to, uh, get that heart. Nope, nope. 
try again. There we go. Now... I think I have to use it to get out of here. So I'm going to have to send it through like these whole these areas in the oh whoops god dang it there we go I'm going to send it in those areas up above where I can't reach and probably hit some gemstones to open these doors I do want to know is how to get this heart container. But I think that is going to be a question that needs to be answered in the next episode. I think we'll pause part two right here and we'll finish off Skyview Temple in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Thank you.